Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson, and you're listening to the Squash Butler Diaries podcast. The podcast about Joy Shelley's life in the dream. She is the girl in the dream, and right now she lives in her father's dreams while she is young. Who knows what will happen later. We are following her life from birth to death. And for the last uh, two episodes, this is part three. Uh, strange things have been happening. Um, Santa. You know what? Listen. This is an episode called Joy vs. Santa. So I'm not going to tell you what happened before. Go back to episodes and listen to episode to part one and part two, uh, episodes 153 and 154, and come back to see what happens, why Joy vs. Santa, and why what happens when it's Joy vs. Santa, okay? Let's just begin. Episode 155, Santa, part three, Joy vs. Santa. Now, Joy, Joy, please put down the gun. Santa Claus's voice quivered. My precious four-and-a-half-year-old Dragon Lil aimed her laser pistol right at the bearded man who was no longer jolly and was standing on the deck of Bunny's Revenge. My father said you don't exist, Dragon Lil spoke forcefully. It was the force of a girl who had never lost, who had never seen her father to ever be wrong in the fight against villains. That means you're an imposter. Your father is wrong, Santa spoke slowly and softly. Clearly I exist. He took a step towards her, but Dragolil bettered her aim at him, and he took a step back. Shrewdly, she had kept her distance from him. You're going to prison, come on, she waved her pistol towards the infinite corridor. But Santa Claus did not move. Joy, Joy Shelley, he said. I can see all the good you have done putting villains in jail. But if you put Santa in jail, or if you harm him, that will mean you've been a very bad girl, and that would mean no gifts for you. Dragolil's eyes tightened. She took a step towards him. She was still far enough from his reach. Who are you to tell me I'm bad? You don't know me. You don't decide. I decide. I'm good. I don't need you, Santa. I don't need your gifts. I'm good. Santa Claus shook his head. You're behaving like a bad girl, Joy. Put down the pistol. Call me a bad girl again. I am not calling you that. That is how you're behaving. I am not calling you that. That is how you're behaving. Come on, let's see you decide who I am again. Joy, put down the gun. He spoke as if he did not understand what she was saying, as if he did not know her well enough to know what she would do. And I, who had watched her from afar for years now, knew very well what Dragolil was saying and what she would do if he did not comply. You are behaving like a bad girl. You do not want to be a bad girl. You want to be a good girl, right? I can make sure you're a good girl if only... Santa did not finish his thought. Joy pressed the trigger and shot at him. But that is not the end of the story. But it is enough for one day. I will tell you the rest tomorrow. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy Santa Claus. So let me tell you a little bit about how this thing came to be. I, The idea of Santa Claus, I was thinking about Santa Claus and then immediately my, my writer's mind went to the dream, uh, to Justin's dream and thinking, you know, him saying about him saying, you know, there's no such thing as Santa Claus. And then he's him saying, he's right behind me, isn't he? Because in the dream, that will make sense. And then I started writing about Santa, giving them a mission, except I didn't want to write a Santa Claus story. They're all the same. You know, I found this out really quickly. I didn't want to, there's no way to write an original, something that's really unique and original, a Santa story. But I was already in it, and I had already decided to do it, and I already wrote the first two ones. And then I realized that Santa 
you know, this is a great opportunity to have joy stand on her own and say, you don't decide who I am. You don't decide if I'm a good girl or a bad girl. And that allowed me to say who Joy is. This is Joy. And she's four and a half years old. And this is what she says. You don't decide if I'm a good girl or a bad girl. That's Joy. Anyway, I did more things because uh, I didn't want to write a Santa Claus story. And that's coming in the next few days. So follow us tomorrow to see what happened after Joy shot Santa. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hasson, and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. Thank <laughs> you.